Hola, bienvenidos. Welcome to beautiful Homoon. Buenos dias, good morning country collectors. We are so excited. Today we are heading to Homun, the cenote capital of the Yucatan. Located just one hour south of Merida, it makes for the perfect day trip. But before we get started, we want to show you around our hotel. Let's check it out. Who is it? Housekeeping. Oh, hey. <laughs> Welcome. Come on in. Check out our room. Oh, wow, this looks really nice. It is really nice. We are at Hotel Santa Ana, and for $24 a night, we get these two beautiful beds. We have air conditioning, a fan, cable TV, and a beautiful bathroom with hot water. Amazing. And that's not all. Let's go downstairs and see what else they have to offer. Hey, leave me alone. This place is so cool. They even have banana trees coming up to the second floor. And check out this pool and garden. It feels like you've been transported into an oasis just 20 feet away from the street. They also have this nice common area where you can order some food, do some work, or just chill out. Pretty sweet. They also have bikes to rent for 50 pesos a day, which is a great way to see Merida. All right, now that we showed you around, it's time to hit the road. Surprise! Surprise. <laughs> so you normally find us on a bus, but for this day trip, we decided to rent a car. First things first, we gotta get some gas. I tend to get a little crazy about it. I'm always so scared we're gonna run out, so I am just gonna fill up, even if it's only 45 minutes away. <laughs> Another thing to note when you are getting your rental car, ask what type of gas it takes. This car takes premium. Always a good thing to know. Make sure that the meter is reset before they start pumping your gas. Sometimes if it's left from the person before, you're gonna end up paying a lot more than you owe. Well, that was quite the experience. I love that, these full service gas gas stations here in Mexico. She pumped our gas, checked our fluids, washed our windows, and put some air in our tires. It's also really nice to give them a little something extra, oh, yeah. like five pesos or 10 pesos. It makes a big difference for them. Absolutely. Well, now that we are all set, let's hit the road. We rented our car from Jose at Easy Way Rent-A-Car located right in the middle of Merida. It cost $40, which included the full insurance per day. Make sure you take a video of the interior and exterior of your vehicle before leaving the rental agency. It's really important to get all those dings, scratches, and dents recorded. Also, make sure that your brakes work, your lights, your air conditioning, and your horn. We want you to be safe. One thing as a driver and actually as a passenger, you need to watch out for topes, which are speed bumps here. They're massive, they're like mountains and they come out of nowhere and they're not always marked all of the time. If you know Adam, you know he is terrible with direction. Hey, nobody's perfect. <laughs> but luckily, we use MapsMe. It's an offline map app that works everywhere in the world. You just have to make sure you download the area you are going to before you leave. It has gotten us out of some sticky situations and kept us from being lost everywhere. <laughs> it has. We love just hopping in a car and going out and exploring. Where's been your favorite road trip? Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to find out. We just turned off a 184 and we see this beautiful arch in front of us. It says Bienvenidos a Akense. It's the first little town we are coming to. Someone is hungry. See. Si. As you know. So we are hopefully gonna stop and get some breakfast. I'm pretty sure these are what we're gonna be going and seeing the cenotes in today. It was like so fun. So we were just driving and we saw a place that looked good for some food. Let's pop in. Nothing like some breakfast with a Coca-Cola. We just finished eating and we asked our waiter what the name of the Pueblo was and he said the name is Akanke. If you pass through here, stop at Uno Mas 
those for some breakfast. It was 82 pesos, about $4 for both of our meals. And a nice liter of Mexican Coke. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get back in the car. And when you pull off in these little towns, be ready for some surprises. There's a beautiful iglesia in front of us and some Mayan ruins. It looks exactly like a pyramid. It is so cool. So our map here tells us we are about 20 minutes from Homun. We are going to pass through another town called Kuzama, which is also known for its cenote. So you could also check that out when you're coming here if you'd like. We just started seeing the first guides. They have their brochures. I know we have a car, so we could drive to the cenotes ourselves, but we think it's really important to support the local community. So we are going to hire one of the guides there. just arrived to the center of Homun. We have seen a few guides with their little pamphlets and brochures of the cenote, so we're gonna go find ourselves one. Ooh, it looks like on the corner by the church there might be some people. Where do you want us to go? Okay. All right, we got one guy just waved <laughs> us down. Let's see what he's got. So Adam and I are learning Spanish, but we don't know a lot of the vocabulary, so we are asking for an English guide. Especially because a lot of these cenotes have backstories and history, and we'd really like to be able to understand them. <laughs> and while we comprehend the basic things, mm -hmm. it's not going to be enough for us to really get what we're looking for Yeah, here. but we asked them, and they said they would call their friend to come meet us. So yeah, that's really awesome. The guide that speaks Spanish is actually actually going to take us to the English speaking guide. <laughs> yeah. The cost is going to be between 3 and 400 for the tour. I think normally it would be 300 but because we're taking a guide with us as well as our driver, it's going to cost a little bit more money. Which I'm okay with. This is like a special tour. So, yeah. I'm excited. Me too. They said we could choose whatever cenotes we want to go to, but we said that we would leave it up to them to take us to the three or four best ones that they really like. They are ready for us, so let's start this tour. We're going to go hop in this cool little motorbike cart over here. <laughs> Hola. 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 <laughs> this is Simon. Yes. Yes, and your friend? Jesus. 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 Hola. All right. Mucho gusto. Look at this thing. <laughs> Very cool. We have arrived at Cenote Los Tres Oches and it looks cool. You said Homun is actually home to over 600 cenote. There are 35 available to the public and hopefully next year there will be 40. So definitely come and check this place out. Yeah, well let's head into our first one. Mayan eats Malo Tal Hanikesh. I love that. Malab Tal Hanikesh. <laughs> good, good. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. I'm part Mayan. <laughs> it is 50 pesos to enter. All right, we're about to head down here. Spanish, yeah. estamos aquí. Estamos aquí, In Maya, we are here. Weyanone. Weyanone, we are here. <laughs> another another word in, in Mayan, it's kosh in kebab sonote. It's let's go to swim in the sonotes. Wow, that's beautiful. We said at this one, the fish will nibble on your skin, so it's like a fish spa. <laughs> this is great, two for one. <laughs> Wow, that jump was really nice. Water went straight up my nose. It is beautiful and so refreshing. I'm gonna do it again. Adam, are the little fish getting you? They are. <laughs> he is going to jump 12 meters. Si se puedes. Woo! Oh, 
Amazing. Wow, did you see that? That was crazy. <laughs> yeah. Impressive. Yes. <laughs> All right, we are off to Cenote number two. I don't know if we can top that one. That was Seriously, really nice. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> I feel good. Na, 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 na. And you knew that I would now. Na, 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 na. <laughs> We have arrived at the second cenote. It is called Balmil. Balmil. Ba Balmil. 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 And it means hidden in English. Exactly. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not too hidden and we can find it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm Little gonna shower. sanitize Little us. Do it. Look at this. At the cenote, you can learn Mayan vocabulary. Like your armpit is chic. chic. <laughs> That's Wait, so cool. Wait. Is, is it my teeth? Is my butt? <laughs> Bobox. No. No. Bobash. This is Bobash. <laughs> you can kiss my Bobash. <laughs> and I just learned the best Mayan phrase ever. We ham. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, we are heading to the hidden cenote now. So he was just explaining this cenote here is called the hidden cenote because only this part was open. So people would walk by and you wouldn't even know that it was here. All right, let's head down. Let's do this. <laughs> we him. <laughs> hey, watch your head, people. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, whoa, look at this. Look at that. Wow. Amazing. Okay, Alan, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, hey, let's do it. Whoa. Is that original Mayan lights? <laughs> wow, so as you can see, this cenote is so different than the last one. No two are the same. It's humongous, and there's stalactites, stalagmites everywhere. Let's head down and check it out. And they even have life jackets in my size. Guapo. <laughs> <laughs> How's it look? It looks so beautiful. I can't wait to get in there. And if you're having as much fun as us, don't forget to subscribe. It would mean a lot to us. All right, let's go in. Yes. We're going into the cave. Come with us. <laughs> it's muy romantico. <laughs> Secret, no one knows we're here. <laughs> we're like uh -huh. Exactly. So we're inside the little cave on the side. So I guess in the beginning of the day, we misunderstood his name. It is Sammy. Not only is this a beautiful place to come, but Sammy just told us a bunch of history about it. This actually used to be a home. There are handprints on the walls over here, as well as some tools that they use to prepare their food. We wouldn't have known any of this unless we would have hired the guide. So definitely, if you want to learn the history here hire a guide and we're only on stop number two exactly <laughs> we'll definitely include sammy's phone number and information in our description down below because he's awesome but i'm sure there are lots of guides so if you can't get him just get somebody it's totally worth it well let's continue can't wait to see more definitely get a little workout in too <laughs> we are off to our third cenote are you ready for this oh yes <laughs> Sorry, are you sleepy? <laughs> I'm tired of that. All that high dive. <laughs> it was that big dive. Yeah. <laughs> Every cenote here along the way is 50 pesos, $2.50, and that includes your life vest. We are here at the third cenote. Kanunchen. Kanunchen. All right. So right off the bat, we noticed that this one is a lot more developed, catered to tourism a little bit more. They have swings. They have a bunch of places to go and hang out, but it still costs the same as all the other cenotes. Yeah, we love it. Here we go. Sounds like people are jumping in the water. Wow. Woo. Check this out. This is an Alamo tree. It has these incredible roots that actually grow down into the cenotes, and it's one of the ways they use to discover previously undiscovered ones. Yeah. Cutest 
little barber. Here at San Noche Canyon Chem, they have the platforms you can jump off and the rope swings, and it is the biggest cenote in Hamoun. Here goes Sammy. Thanks Adam, you're always the best one at providing us with some entertainment. And the most beautiful thing about Cenote is when the sunlight comes in and you can see the rays in the water. Check it out. It also makes you look like an angel. Thank you. As you can see, Kenu Chen is the most popular one. There's a lot of people here, but for good reason because it was definitely the most fun. Put this one on the list when you come to Homun. Yesterday we did a bit of research and we were shocked at what we learned. 66 million years ago, a 12 kilometer wide asteroid hit the earth where we are right now at such a hard impact. It drove the earth up twice the size of Mount Everest before crashing down. That's actually what created this crater that we are in and the ring of cenotes. It's actually the same asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs. Yeah, it wiped out 75% of all life on earth. Crazy. <laughs> Very interesting. All right, so the next cenote we are going to is called Pol Wenik. He said it's special because we get to exfoliate. Oh, I like a good exfoliation. <laughs> yeah. Come with us. Welcome to the last cenote. <laughs> Where are we? We're at Pol Unique, <laughs> which means a person with a big head. Apparently, <laughs> this was some sort of joke about me. <laughs> Pretty big. Woohoo, here we go. This one is really beautiful because you get to walk through nature and Sammy is telling us all these interesting facts about the trees here and how they use them for medicine. He just told us that this plant here, this is called savia. It looks like aloe and actually when you break it off, what's inside of it is like sticky and you use it to cover up your abrasion so it's like a band-aid. Very cool. Let's go get this party started. <laughs> the party's already started. Oh yeah, well let's go get some exfoliation nation. <laughs> Whoa, cool. I wow. love how you just descend down into these caves. Look this at this. This is beautiful. There's a tree underground. This is one of those Alamo trees and one of the characteristic of it is is that the roots are stro so strong they actually break the rocks. We are the only ones here. Yes. Woohoo! Oh my goodness. How'd we get so lucky? Wow. wow. <laughs> it's like a fairy tale. I know. This is so perfectly chilly and I cannot wait to get in. <laughs> that mask on your head looks great. Hey, <laughs> it's a lifestyle choice. <laughs> this guy dives into everything. <laughs> So beautiful. It's like that fake blue. It's so blue. It doesn't even look real. I know. <laughs> you just dove down and got some Arcea, which is what we're gonna use for the exfoliation. <laughs> yes, it's for all body. On my face too? Yes. Okay. The face, the neck, the, your feet, for all. Ooh. Yes. Oh. This is what they call the Mayan spa. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you better get this on camera because this isn't going to happen again. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Oh, yes. <laughs> don't don't forget the little toe, please. <laughs> ah, perfect. Thank you. Oh, wow. That feels like magic. It's new like a foot. new foot. <laughs> this cenote is so nice. It is definitely my favorite of the day. It might be because we are the only ones here. So it's been so relaxing. I feel like I could take a nap here. Well, watch your head. <laughs> we are just exiting this last cenote and today has been so amazing, but it is not done yet. You know we have to go get some food. 
so come with us. We are so glad we came here and that you came with us. Absolutely, and the best part is we only went to Four Cenotes. There are 35 that you could be going to. Yeah, Sammy said he had a guy once who came for a week and he said he wanted to go to five different Cenotes every day and he hit all 35. <laughs> That's so cool. And there's going to be 40 open by next year and who knows how many more they're going to discover. Amazing, you have to come here. We just got back to our car here at restaurant and hotel Santa Maria. Sammy told us that they have the best cochinita pibil. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Yeah, so we're gonna go have some late lunch with them. We'd love for you to come with us. I don't know about you, but I am we ham. <laughs> or hungry and Mayan. Let's go check out some food. There's a ton of good options here at restaurant Santa Maria. Look at how big the menu is. What can I get for you? <laughs> That's the biggest menu ever. It's bigger than, they have a menu bigger than me. Oh, wow. that, man. that looks so good. Wow. Oh, wow. The food looks so good. Um, I ordered a cochinita pibil with the small side of longanisa, but I think I got a whole order of longanisa <laughs> and some cochinita pibil, and I am happy. Look at these handmade tortillas. Wow, they smell so good. I feel like at home we just use tortillas as a vehicle to get food to our mouth, but here they're a little piece of art and an integral part of the flavor that you get in all your meals. This is like brisket. It's the thick, it's just, it's so good, it's so tender. You can taste the marinade. I mean, honestly, this is the best cochinita people that we have had in all of our videos in Mexico. You come to Home Moon, you definitely have to come to restaurant Santa Maria. The food here is exquisite. Unfortunately, we have to say bye to these lovely gentlemen. It has been such a wonderful day with them. <laughs> Muchas gracias. <laughs> wow, that meal and that day was just fantastic. Thank you so, so much for coming. You really made it so special. We would have had nowhere near as much fun if you hadn't come along. It's true. So if you are in the Yucatan or in Merida, make your way an hour south to Home Moon. As you saw, the cenotes were magical and the people were just so nice. <laughs> Muchos gracias to Sammy and Jesus. They really pushed it up just one more level and we are so grateful. Yes, we are. So thank you again so, so much for coming with us today. Remember to give us a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to ling, 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 ling <laughs> the bell. We'll see you next time. Adios. Could be me and Heidi.